Hello students, let us discuss some examples on even and odd permutations. We have to check whether the given permutation is even or odd permutations. Here some permutations from S5 are given. See here, we, have, we already put a result that a permutation is even if a permutation a permutation is even if it is expressed as as even number of transpositions even number of transpositions and is odd if it is expressed as as odd number of odd number of transpositions because if we express a permutation by an even number of transposition then each transposition sign of each transposition is minus 1 and minus 1 raised to e1 is a e1 number and minus 1 raised to odd is a odd number Let us solve some examples. First one, given that 1 is to 4, 2 is to 5, 3 is to 2, 4 is to 3 and 5 is to 1. Expressing this, first we are expressing this as a product of disjoint cycles. So 1 is to 4. 4 is to 3, 3 is to 2, 2 is to 5 and 5 is to 1. So this can be written as product of transpositions as 1, 5, 1, 2, 1, 3 and 1, 4. How many number of transpositions are there in, in expressing this? as a product of transpositions 1 2 3 4 so this is a even this can be expressed as a this given permutation can be expressed as a even number of transpositions though therefore therefore the given permutation the given permutation can be expressed as a Four, that is even number of even number of transpositions therefore thus given permutation is is even given permutation is even now you can solve some examples based on this. Now you can solve some example based on this. First we have solved. Then we have to solve number 4. Fourth one is here. Fourth one. What is given? Let sigma is equal to call this permutation as a sigma is 2, 5, 1, 3, 2, 4, 
one two three four next is five to one five to one and three four so this is equal to first we express in the sigma in a standard form so one two three four five no doubt if you express this as a product of transpositions directly then this is a one these are two 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 three four and these are three seven so this is a odd permutation so first expression this in a standard form we have see here one is to five five is to two so one goes to two two goes to one here one goes to three here two goes to two two goes to one one goes to three so one goes to three one so two goes to three image of three three goes to four three goes to four four goes to one so three goes to one how it is three goes to four four goes to four four goes to one so next four goes to three three goes to two and two goes to five so four goes to five four goes to five and lastly five goes to two two goes to four so five goes to four so this case can be written as one goes to two two goes to three three goes to one three one goes to two two goes to three three goes to one so cycle is complete five goes to four and four goes to five so this is and this can be written as one three one two and five four which is therefore therefore this sigma can be expressed as expressed as 3 that is or a number of transpositions therefore sigma is odd permutation odd permutation sigma is odd permutation or directly you can express this sigma or directly expressing this sigma as a product of transposition already 2 5 is given expressing this 1 3 2 4 as 1 4 1 2 one three five one five two and three four see here how many this expression is not unique we have already seen so how many transpositions are there one two three four five six seven six seven So in this case this can be expressed as a seven number of permutations, seven number of transpositions, and seven is also odd. Seven is also odd. Therefore, this is also this implies that what this implies. Therefore, in any case, this is a odd permutation. Therefore, sigma is odd because this is expressed as a odd number of permutations. I think you can solve the remaining problems. So there is no difficult to solve the remaining problems. Thank you, students.